Welcome to this series of videos on the types of start. This is a brief video to introduce the types of starts used in athletics. Starting well is vital as it can set the tone of your race and may often determine how the whole race will go. Clearly this becomes more important as we decrease the distance that we are running. For example, we have less time to reach our maximum speed in a short sprint compared to a marathon, which is obviously run at a much slower pace. Evidently, we don't need to use blocks to start a marathon, although that would be fun to see, but it is useful to know how to get an efficient start in all races. The start used for these longer races is a standing start. This start can be either slow and easy, or it can be very explosive if maximal speed work is the objective in training. The standing start is the most basic start. Step up to the line with one foot forwards and the other about 50 centimeters back. Have the opposite arm forwards to the front leg. Push off both feet and start running. Make sure you keep steady because you don't want to fall over before you've even started. The next type of start is a crouch start. This is more commonly used for the sprints and is a good introductory exercise to teach kids how to sprint. It involves kneeling down into a crouch position which will help you to be explosive and achieve maximum speed as fast as possible. We will cover how to get into this position in a later video. Before you sprint, raise up your hips so your legs become less bent. This is also known as the set position. This allows you to push off quickly and get a fast start. Younger age group athletes will tend to use this start in their races. There is another start which is very similar to the crouch one, but is not used very frequently. It's called the three point start. The reason for this is that the crouch start we have four points of contact with the ground, both hands and both feet. The three point start involves lifting up one of the hands. You're not allowed to use this start in a normal sprint race, such as 100 meters, and it's best to use a normal four point start then anyway. You may have seen this used in the 4x1 relay as it allows for an explosive start without using blocks. In the relay, the three point start allows us to look under our arm to see when the incoming runner is approaching. Finally, the last type of start we have is a block start. This is a little more complicated and requires more strength and speed to use them properly. We recommend that athletes under the age of 14 don't really need to be using them and won't gain significant advantage from doing so. In fact, the more complicated moves may even make them a little slower. Using blocks is similar to a crouch start, so it is important to perfect the crouch start before moving on to blocks. We have another video coming out soon about how to set up blocks, so keep an eye out for that. Hopefully this video was useful and has given you a brief introduction to the types of starts we use in athletics. Thanks for watching. Please have a look at some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel to see our future ones. To find out more information about Momentum Sports, have a look at our website and social media pages found in the description below.